everyone, welcome back to day 11 of Vlogmas slash puzzle, Vlogmas, charminess, everything happening. Um, I was actually planning to do a quiet vlog today, just have some music and things like that, but I thought I've had a few of those just because <laughs> the weather and other elements have scuppered my plans that I was planning to do for Vlogmas. So instead i am going to be going through quiet reads so things that kind of like nostalgia and things that i am really wanting to read at the moment not only am i feeling like reading some murder mysteries as usual during december i'm feeling very nostalgic so i wanted to go through the books that i am really wanting to read and really having those wonderful soft moments of nostalgia to share once again we're filming at night time so i have these glorious shadows from all the down lights fabulous i've tried to add extra lighting and i think it's just made my forehead shinier so we'll see how we go as i get further on this lighting journey but let's get to the books and then to the puzzle so join me as we go through some quiet nostalgia reads for december or the festive season first off i don't know about you but i adore folio society editions and i usually have to treat myself every now and then to a beautiful folio edition so this is the wind in the willow this is the edition of Wind in the Willows. I will try and get the best imagery I can. Have a look at that foiling cover. And oh, it's just so beautiful. But yeah, so this is the Wind in the Willows. It's illustrated by oh, Van, what's his name? Charles Van Sandwich. So the illustrations are just very whimsical, nostalgic. I mean, they've come in black and white illustrations too. And this one was a beloved classic of my papa's, my grandpa. And I am just feeling like I need to have just that wonderful nostalgia feel and reconnect. So I've started reading this one and I love reading it with the pictures. Even though his version, I still have my papa's copy. Um, that one it doesn't have any pictures and it was just a really small little green volume. When I saw this, I thought it's the exact same color green as my papa's version as well. And it has all those beautiful illustrations as well. I couldn't, I couldn't go past it. So yeah, so Wind in the Willows is one of my favorite nostalgia reads. It's very fun, very silly and very British. So I do recommend if you haven't seen it before. Speaking of British, I think actually most of my list is from British authors. I'm just feeling very nostalgic at the moment and the next one that I really want to read again is Pride and Prejudice and this is like a really funny, sorry, the lighting, but this is a really beautiful illustrated uh, edition um, with the illustrations that Hugh Thompson did. Now that is a classic peacock cover. Um, this is not said peacock cover, it's just like a special version of it. Ooh, we got some of the peacock feathers on the side but it's just like a more recent version. And I got this when I worked at Dimex and it was actually the first time I'd read it when I was like 15 or something. And it was just in a library copy, but this is the first copy I bought for myself because I loved it so much. I wanted a really lovely copy and to have all the illustrations from Hugh Thompson. Like, I mean, it's just, they're just lovely, lovely illustrations. So yes, I really thoroughly enjoyed finding this copy and it just brings the whimsy of all the characters in Pride and Prejudice to the forefront. So I think I'm ready to reread Pride and Prejudice. I think my most recent Austen was probably, probably Emma, which I loved. I adored Emma, but I think I need a little bit of the, the Bennets back in my life. So I definitely want to reread Pride and Prejudice. Um, that's probably going to be my third pick, to be fair. I think the other one I'm going to do is going to also be a reread, but I've never read the rest of the series. It's another beautiful Folio Society slipcase. And the edition is for Howl's Moving Castle. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful edition. And I remember they had, you could actually vote on the artists who, and, and the, the winning artist would be the one that would get printed. And so this um, illustrator for this one is Marie Alice Harrell and her illustrations are just beautiful. And she, it went into a really deep explanation of her illustration style and what she kind of thought of when she was doing house. And I read this ages ago 
um, I think just after I saw the Studio Ghibli movie and I loved it. It's, it is different to the Studio Ghibli, so I do want to make you very aware that it is very different in, in quite a few ways, stylistic ways to the Ghibli. Um, but it works. It works so beautifully well. So I definitely want to reread this one now that I have this edition. And I actually have the other two in this beautiful folio editions. And so I'll be reading those for the first time. So I think it's going to be Wind in the Willows followed by the House Moving Castle, Castle in the Air and the House of Many Doors reading extravaganza. Um, and then I think I'll start the year with Pride and Prejudice or... Or I might start the year with The Hobbit. Now, I have two beautiful editions of The Hobbit. Um, this is probably my favourite. I got this in a second-hand bookstore in Portland. And it was such a fine. We were just randomly in this tiny shopping mall looking for, like, buttons and fabric. And I came, we came across this second-hand store. And they had this beautiful leather-bound copy of The Hobbit that it was published, it's the second, a second edition, I believe, that was published in the US. And it was only like 24 bucks. I mean, it's got illustrations all through it, like that map of the Lonely Mountain, bright green, beautiful. And it's, and it's just like the runes used in the Lord of the Rings, like they're in green. It's just such a beautiful edition. And ugh, I loved it. And so when I saw it, I'm like, I just, I just must get this. I'm like, that's the trolls. The illustration there and yeah I, I absolutely adored this edition when I saw it it's such a beautifully bound edition and it's even got mottling on the end papers so it's an edition from the 60s um, and I was shocked that it was only $27 uh, sorry $24 but this one as well is a really beautiful hardcover um, it's actually a, more of a recent edition I think it's just like the plain version of The Hobbit. But if you want, I think it's Ink Box that do these amazing um, slips, uh, like, you know, um, dust covers for them. So this one, and this is illustrated by one of my favorite illustrators. I actually already had an illustration from her prior. So you've got the Lonely Mountain, you've got Smaug, you've got all the dwarves, and you've got little Bilbo down here facing off Gollum. Just love it so much. And then you've got, you know, the the dwarven dwarven gates with the uh, smell's tail poking out um they did the whole trilogy as well as the hobbit so it's just such a beautiful beautiful uh dust covers that you could get for uh, for your editions as well they do specify which hard covers they fit specifically unfortunately it's really hard to find them in australia so it was a bit of a, a get to locate these hardcovers, but apparently in the US and potentially the UK, it's quite easy to get them. But yeah, so I, I'm debating between The Hobbit again or Pride and Prejudice again after, but I feel how, see how I feel after I go through the fantastical trio that is Dinah Wing Jones. So I'm, 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 I'll let you know, but if you have a recommendation, if you think I should read one more or the other or one fits or one fits a December read more than the other, let me know down below. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed my little nostalgia quiet reads moment rather than a quiet musical blog because I was, yeah, I've had so many of those lately. We need to talk about more books. I'm just excited to read these. And yeah, so let me know what you're reading for December so far. If you've got any plans, maybe something sneaking in late December now that you weren't expecting. But otherwise, I'll see you all next time. And for those of you who want to see the puzzle, stay on. It's going to start right now. Thank you.